Hi, I'm Joss, and welcome to Jungle Gym. What kind of animals do you see when you look up in the sky? Look up, way up. Who do you see up there? Birds. On today's Jungle Gym, we get to learn all about birds. Big birds. What do they eat? How do they fly? What makes them so awesome? So don't just sit there, let's get flying. This is your world and there's so much to see. The birds, the insects, the animals. So let's play, learn, and get active with the animals. It's a great day because you're in it. Welcome to Jungle Gym. You know, sometimes even the biggest, wildest birds need some tender, loving care when they get sick or hurt. Today, we're here on beautiful Treaty 7 territory at the Alberta Birds of Prey Centre, where big birds go to get the help they need to get back into the sky. I'm joined by my friends, Holden. Hi, hi. And Alexa. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. We're gonna go hang out with Dallas, who's gonna show us some really big, really cool birds. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. So this is Ophelia, and she is a barn owl. Hi, Ophelia. So what makes the barn owl so unique? So they have like this satellite dish face, you can see, and it amplifies sound, and that's how they get their prey. And also their feathers, if you want to touch the back of her. Extremely soft. So soft. Yeah. She looks like she has really long legs. What are they for? So that's for when they hunt. They actually hunt in really tall grass so they can prance around and get their prey in the long grass. And do barn owls hoop? They actually hiss. They hiss. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you have a question, Holden? Yes. What's an owl pellet? So an owl pellet is like undigested um, food, and they actually spit it up. So this is what it looks like. It's like feathers and like bones. Oh, you can see little bones. It's just their leftovers, so. So what kind of food do they eat? They eat rodents, mice, pretty much any little critter in the grass. That might be a little mouse bone. In yeah. Did you have a question, Alexa? Yeah, the eyes are really big. What are they for? Mostly just for their hunting. And since her eyes are so dark, it means that she's really good at hunting at night. But they use their ears mostly. They have really good hearing. So do barn owls only live in barns? No, they'll like live in nests usually. Why are they called barn owls then? You, you can find them in barns, mm -hmm. yeah. The first one spotted in the barn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can remember what we learned about barn owls. Does their round face shape, A, help collect sounds? B, work as a dinner plate for their meals? Or C, get mistaken for a Frisbee? It's A, of course. Their round face shape collects sounds like a satellite dish. Do barn owls, A, chirp like a chickadee? B, hiss like a snake, or C, bark like a dog? The answer is B, and they sound like this. Why do barn owls have long legs? A, it helps them wade in water. B, they're related to drafts. Or C, it helps them hunt mice in the long grass. The answer is C. Their long legs help them hunt mice and other small animals in long grass. Let's take what we learned about barn owls into the jungle gym. Hey kids, and welcome to the jungle gym. Today, we're here in Farmer Lil's barn, where we get to hang out with my friend, Barney the Barn Owl. Barney, do you see him anywhere? Barney, where are you? He must still be sleeping. Let's start out by doing a big stretch. We're gonna make a giant T with our body and touch your fingertips to the other side. And let's go the other way. Let's keep going. Did you know that barn owls are nocturnal? Which means that while all the other farm animals are getting ready for bed, Barney is just getting ready to start his day. I still don't see him. Let's look behind us by making a great big star. We're gonna touch our fingertips to the opposite foot and look behind us. I still don't see him. Barney, that rascal. 
Hmm. How about we do three more touches? Ready? Three. Two. And one. Oh, look! There's Barney. He's way up in the rafters. Let's do five giant jumps to get up there. You ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Whoa! It's so high up here. We better sit down. I want you to sit down and put your feet nice and flat in front of you. Did you know that the word owl is super special because we can use our body to spell it out. I want you to plant your feet nice and flat out in front of you. Keep your knees together, lean slightly back, make a great big O, then a W, then an L. Let's try and do it again, this time using our super strong tummy muscles. We're gonna go all the way down, come all the way up, and make an O. All the way down, all the way up, W. One more, and an L. Should we try that even faster? Let's go. O. W. L spells owl. Great work. It looks like Barney's starting to wake up. Hi, Barney. Good to see you. What are you doing with your neck? Looks like he's doing a little head stretch. Let's stretch with him. Get your chin over your shoulder, and then do the other side. Way over, and back to the middle. Did you know that owls can almost turn their heads all the way around? I'm not even close. Oh, man. Oh, look, he's going to the window. Let's follow him with 10 great big walking steps. We're gonna plant our foot, reach our toes way out, and touch them with our hand. And do the other side. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Whoa, looks like all of Barney's friends are getting ready for bed. Do you want to go say goodnight to them? All right, so we're going to fly with Barney. Remember, when birds fly, they only need to use their wings. But when us humans fly, we have to use our legs too. So we're gonna get going super, super fast. Super fast and we're gonna take off. Are you ready? Three, two, one, blast off! We're flying through the sky. Oh, we're flying, we're really high. There's so much to see, so many friends to meet when we're flying through the sky. Oh look, there's Henry the horse. Looks like he's having a nice sip of water before bed. Should we go have some water? I'm kind of thirsty. Let's get down on our knees, and we're gonna do some push-ups. So plant your hands on the ground in front of you. You can do push-ups from your feet like this, or you can do them from your knees like this. <laughs> Let's do them from our feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Oh, my thirst sure is quenched. Good night, Henry. I hope you have a great sleep. Oh, look, there's Piggy Sue. Looks like Piggy Sue's making a bed in her mud puddle. Oh, Piggy Sue. I love jumping in mud puddles. Do you like jumping in mud puddles? Let's do it together. One, two, three, jump. We should do great big star jumps. So we're gonna jump out like a star and come right back in. Let's see how muddy we can get. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go even faster. Fast. Whoa, I'm getting so muddy. Three, two, one. Whoa, it's so muddy. This place is a mess. Wow, it looks like all of Barney's friends are going to bed, which means it's his time to shine. We're gonna give him a great big jungle gym hug good night and have a good evening, Barney. Thank you for moving with me in the jungle gym. It's time for Patterns. 
birds. Follow the birds. Owl. Eagle. Owl. Which bird do you think comes next? You're right, it's an eagle. Let's try another one. Eagle. Eagle. Owl. Eagle. Eagle. Which bird do you think comes next? You're right, it's an owl. You did a great job with patterns. Time to learn more about owls with Dallas from the Birds of Prey Center. This is Gordon. He's a great horned owl and he's about 10 to 15 years old. Hi, Gordon. Hi, Gordon. Whoa, he looks so big. How big do they get? So they get about like two feet tall. So yeah, he's full grown, so this is as big as he'll get. Do you have any questions? What do owls eat? So every owl is a little bit different, but they love um, mice, rodents, but this guy's favorite food is actually skunks. skunks. And it, it's because they don't have a great sense of smell, so they just <gasps> love them. Yum! Do you yeah. think they'd eat some skunk ice cream <laughs> on a day like today? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Did you have a question? Yeah, how big do their horns get? So this is as big as his horns will get, but they're actually not real horns. They're just little feather tufts, and in the wild, they use them for communication. I heard that they don't make any noise when they fly. How do they do that? So they have like serrated edges on their feathers and it's so they can't hear themselves fly so they can pay more attention to their prey. So that is so cool. <laughs> Looks like he has feathers on his feet. They usually just have feathers on their feet because they're used to colder climates. So it's kind of like having snow pants and snow boots <laughs> on. Keeps him warm. It can also protect him when he grabs his prey and if the prey is feisty, it'll protect Ooh. his feet. Why is this such a special bird in Alberta? So they're actually the um, provincial bird for Alberta, and it's because they're so common everywhere. You can find them anywhere in Alberta. Very cool. Look at his big yellow eyes. Yes. Dallas has taught us a lot about great horned owls. Let's test what we learned. Why do great horned owls have feathers on their feet? A. They are very fashionable birds and feathers look great. B, they keep their feet nice and warm in the cold weather. Or C, they don't own any socks. The answer is B, the feathers help keep them warm. Although they probably don't own any socks either. What do great horned owls love to eat? A, hamburgers. B, veggies, or C, skunks? The answer is C, skunks. What a stinky meal. Last question. Are the owl's horns made out of A, feathers, B, bone, or C, sticks? The answer is A, feathers. They use their soft horns to communicate with each other. There's lots to learn about Alberta's official provincial bird. Birds, of course, come from eggs. Let's grow with the baby birds inside the jungle gym. Hi, and welcome to the jungle gym. Have you ever wondered how this becomes this? Well, we're about to find out. But first, we have to find a nest. I don't really see any. Birds usually make their nests way up high in trees where it's nice and safe. Oh look, there's one way up there. Should we climb the tree to go get it? We're gonna climb by doing great big steps where we touch our elbow to our knee. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, it's so cool up here. And look, there's a nest right there. Nest starts with the letter N. There's so many eggs in here. Let's count them together. One, two, three. Awesome. When eggs are in nests, it's up to the parent birdies to keep their eggs nice and warm so the baby birdies have time to develop. 
Let's warm our eggs up by doing some nice, fun egg rolls. Remember, egg starts with the letter E. Are you ready? Let's go all the way back and forward. And back and forward. And back and forward. And one more time. Back and forward. Great work. Oh my gosh, it looks like the eggs are starting to move. They might be getting ready to hatch. Let's try to break free from our eggs. We're gonna do a sit up and then push off to the side. Are you ready? Go all the way down, all the way up, and push to the side. Let's go again. Push our eggs. And push. And push. How about two more? Push. Last one, push. Very good. It looks like the eggs are starting to crack open. I think we should crack open from our eggs. But how can we do that? How about with karate chops? We're gonna get down nice and low and then chop to the side and do a great big rainbow all the way around. Are you ready? Here we go. Down, chop. Down, chop. Now we're gonna start to go up higher. Breaking free from our eggs. We're almost free. So close, two more. Wow, we're free. And look, all the birds have hatched too. Hi birds, welcome to the world. When birds are babies, they rely completely on their mummies and daddies to get them food. Oh look, there's the mummy birdie right now. She's got all sorts of worms for her babies. Let's eat our worms by doing some birdie burpees. We're gonna reach up to the sky, get down low, step back, step forward, and come back up. Let's do that four more times. Back, forward, and up. Try to keep your bums nice and low and your back super straight. Very good. One more. Wow, I can feel us getting stronger already. Should we add some jumps to our burpees? We're gonna jump way up high, then jump way back, bring our feet up, and jump again. Let's do that four more times. You ready? Jump back, forward, up, back, forward, up, back, forward, up. Last one. Back, forward, up. Very good. Baby birds aren't born with the ability to fly. They have to get super strong in their nests before they're ready to take off. Let's work on our strength too by doing some nice deep squat kicks. So we're gonna get nice and low, kick our leg out in front of us. Let's do eight more. Are you ready? Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow, I can sure tell my legs are getting nice and strong. How about you, birdies? Do you think you're ready to start flying? I think they're ready to test it out. Now remember, when birds fly, they only need to use their wings, but us humans have to use our legs too. So we're gonna get going nice and fast. Are you ready to take your first flight, birdies? Let's get our arms out to the side, get going really fast, and let's go! Whoa, they're doing it! We're flying through the sky. Wow, that was an awesome first flight for our baby birdies. Looks like they're getting ready to take a nap though. Let's give them a great big jungle gym hug goodbye. Thank you so much for playing with us today. And thank you for moving with me in the jungle gym. It's time for counting. Count the owls. There's one, one owl. There's another, two owls. Look, up in the tree, three owls. Another one. There's 
one on the ground. Five owls. Great job. You counted five owls. Alberta is home to lots of amazing golden eagles. Dallas from the Birds of Prey Center is going to tell us all about them. This is Sarah. She's a golden eagle. And she's been here for all of her life, pretty much, since so she's 37 years old. She came to us when she was about one with a wing injury. So we rehabilitated her, and that's why she's here. Nice. So she spent her entire life here. Yes. Aw. So how big do eagles get? She looks huge. So this is pretty much as big as they'll get, but yeah. their wingspan can be up to six feet. Six feet? Yes. That's taller than me. Yes. <laughs> wow. And where do they build their nests? These guys will build their nests in high cliffs along rivers and in the mountains, just really high, mostly in cliffs. So what does the golden eagle represent and why are their feathers so important? To indigenous cultures, their feathers represent honor, pride, just being really close to the creator. So if you have a feather, it's literally the biggest honor you can get from indigenous cultures. That's awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much for letting us hold these awesome feathers. Yeah. Did you have any questions? Yeah. <laughs> How fast can a golden eagle go? They can fly up to 250 kilometers an hour, especially when they're diving for their food. Oh. That's so fast. How about you, Alexa? How do they catch their food? So you see his big talons? She uses those to grab her food. So she'll even eat food like young antelope, little deer, mountain goats. What? Yeah. Wow, can I touch your leg? Yeah, just very, very, very slowly. slowly. Oh, that's so cool. There. She is beautiful. <laughs> Golden eagles are so beautiful. Let's test what we learned about them. Where do golden eagles like to live? A, in houses. B, in barns. Or C, way up high in the cliffs? The answer is C, high in cliffs. They like to get a good view. How wide can a golden eagle's wingspan get? A, the width of a sub sandwich. B, the width of a door. Or C, the width of a sofa. The answer is C. They can grow as long as a couch or sofa. That is really big. Remember, golden eagle feathers are really important to the indigenous people of this land. So if you see one, make sure you're respectful. Thanks, Dallas, for sharing your knowledge about the golden eagle. Now let's get flying with the eagles inside the jungle gym. Hi, and welcome to the jungle gym. Have you ever heard of yoga? It's a great exercise that keeps your body nice and balanced. We're gonna do some prairie yoga with our friend, Izzy the Eagle. Izzy, I don't see her anywhere. She's probably still finishing up her lunch. Let's start by doing some nice, deep yoga breaths. We're gonna start nice and low, take a deep breath in, and then blow it all out. Let's do it again. In and out. Three more. Breathing is very important in yoga. No matter what pose you do, always make sure that your breath stays nice and deep. Very good. Oh, look, there's Izzy now. She's gonna perch up on her tree. Let's make our very own tree pose. So we're gonna plant one foot down nice and flat. Now you can do this three different ways. You can bring your foot way up high, you can rest it on the floor, or you can rest it on your calf. Just don't put it right on your knee. So I'm gonna rest mine on my calf. Reach out to the side, take a nice deep breath in, and let's get down and do the other side. Put your foot on the same place you did for the last side. I'm gonna put mine on my calf. Let's take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Tree starts with the letter T. Very good. Looks like Izzy's sitting nicely up there in her perch. We're gonna get down nice and low into our chair pose. Chair starts with the letter C. So you're gonna get nice and low, Reach your arms out in front of you and take a deep breath in. D. 
deep breath out. Very good. Eagles have giant feet called talons. They use them to be super strong warriors. We're gonna do our warrior pose with our talons. I want you to plant your back talon nice and strong. Bring your other one up and take a great big talon stretch. Take your knee, put it over your ankle and reach out to the side for a nice deep warrior pose. Let's see if you can show me your warrior muscles. Good job, guys. Bring the other toe forward. We're gonna turn this one out, bend our knee to a nice warrior stretch. Show me those muscles. Very good. Bring it back in and let's get back into the middle. It looks like Izzy's getting ready to go for a fly. Let's fly too with our flying bird pose. Bird starts with the letter B. We're gonna plant our talon nice and strong and reach the other one out behind us. If it's a little too tricky to balance on one foot, you can rest the other foot behind you. We're gonna reach our arms way out, lean forward, take a deep breath in, and out. And we're flying! Whoa! Should we fly on the other side too? Let's come back to the middle, take your talon, reach it way out, lean forward, and fly! There's so much to see out here. Hey, look, I see a cat and a cow. That's pretty odd. That's one of my favorite yoga poses. We're gonna get down nice and low. Cat and cow both start with the letter C. We're gonna go on our hands and knees, reach our arms out in front of us, and we're gonna arch our back up just like a cat. And then we're gonna bring it down nice and low like a cow. And up, and down. Make sure you take a nice deep breath in. And let's get a great big moo on our way out. Moo. Awesome job, you guys. One of the best parts about yoga is the very end. We get to get ourselves in a super comfortable position where we take nice deep breaths and reflect on our practice. So we're gonna do the child's pose today. Bring your knees slightly apart, Take your fingers and reach them way out in front of you and rest your forehead on the floor into a great big stretch. Now let's do three deep breaths in and out. In and out. Last one, in. And out. And as always, we're always gonna end our yoga pose with a nice namaste. Namaste, Izzy the Eagle. I hope you have a great day. Let's give her a great big jungle gym hug goodbye. And thank you for moving with me in the jungle gym. Follow the eggs. Meet our three birds. Yellow bird, blue bird, and green bird. Let's follow the yellow bird. Keep watching that egg. Which egg is the yellow bird in? Egg number one, egg number two, or egg number three. The yellow bird was in egg number two. Did you get it right? Good job. Thank you so much for joining us at the Alberta Birds of Prey Center. We had so much fun learning about some of the huge birds that live right here in Alberta. And thanks to Dallas for introducing us to our new birdie buddies and to my friends Holden and Alexa. And thank you for watching Jungle Gym. I hope you have a fun and exciting day. See you next time.